टूडे आई उल डिसकस अबाउट सफ्ट टोरिक कन्टैक्ट लेंस स्पेरिकल सफ्ट कन्टैक्ट लेंस कैन कारेक्ट जिरो पॉइंट फाइव टू जिरो पॉइंट सेवन फाइव डायप्टर कर्नेल एस्टिगमेटिजम उथथ द हेल्प अफ टीयर लेंस और स्पेरिकल इक्विवेलेंट पावर इफ एस्टिगमेटिजम इज मोर दैन जिरो पॉइंट सेवन फाइव डायप्टर दैन टोरिक सफ्ट कन्टैक्ट लेंस इज मैंडेटरि स्पेरिकल रिजिड गैस परमेबल और आर जि पी लेंसेस कैन कारेक्ट आप टू थ्री डायप्टर अफ कर्नेल एस्टिगमेटिजम But as RGP reshaped the cornea to correct corneal astigmatism due to which few patients are intolerant to RGP and if astigmatism is internal that is lenticular or retinal then also RGP is not an ideal choice but soft toric contact lens here i will briefly discuss about soft toric contact lens for details complete note about soft toric contact lens fitting and assessment you can enroll our contact lens course in our app optometry notes and mcqs it's available in play store there you will get well organized notes of almost all contact lens topics types of soft toric contact lens generally there are three types of soft toric are available one front surface torics Two back surface torics, three bi torics. Front surface toric. Front surface toric is for internal astigmatism, and power is incorporated in front surface of the lens. Internal astigmatism means astigmatism due to crystalline lens or retina. Difference between total astigmatism and corneal astigmatism is called internal astigmatism. In retinoscopy or autorefractometer we measure total astigmatism and in keratometer we measure only corneal astigmatism in keratometry difference between k1 and k2 is corneal astigmatism so if internal astigmatism is there then difference between k1 and k2 won't be equal to the retinoscopic astigmatic power that is total astigmatism suppose retinoscopic power is -3 -1.5 at 180 degree axis but in keratometry it shows k1 44 at 90 k2 45 at 180 here the difference between k1 and k2 is 1 which is corneal astigmatism so internal astigmatism will be 1.5 that is total astigmatism minus 1 that is corneal astigmatism equal to 0.50 diopter cylinder that is internal astigmatism so if we subtract keratometric astigmatism from retinoscopic or autorefractometric astigmatism then we will get internal astigmatism now back surface toric back surface toric is for corneal astigmatism corneal astigmatism indicates irregular that is not round shape of cornea Toric soft contact lenses are so designed with power incorporated in back surface to attach with the cornea. Bitoric. Bitoric is for patient with corneal and internal astigmatism or high astigmatism. In high astigmatism, power is distributed in both front and back surface of the contact lens. Internal astigmatic power is incorporated in front surface of the toric soft contact lens. and corneal astigmatic power is incorporated in back surface of the lens rule of thumb for soft toric contact lenses if the ratio of spherical and astigmatic power is more than 4 is to 1 then we can correct astigmatism up to 0.75 with spherical equivalent if the ratio is less than 4 is to 1 then patient comfort is compromised example case 1 minus 5 minus 1 at 180 degree axis spherical equivalent power is minus 5.5 diopter spherical case 2 minus 2 minus 1 at 180 degree axis and spherical equivalent power is minus 2.5 diopter spherical in case 1 patient will be more comfortable than case 2 because the ratio is more than 4 is to 1 In modern practice this is not followed though Now few tips about soft toric contact lens Most of the company manufacture soft toric contact lenses in 0.50 steps Power is available as 0.75 1.25 
1.75 not available in 1.152 soft toric axis is available in 10 degree steps axis is available as 10 20 30 40 and so forth not available as 5 15 25 35 etc Download our app Optometry Notes and MCQs from Play Store to get notes of all optometry subjects like clinical refraction, binocular vision, ophthalmic instrumentation, dispensing optics, abroad entrance exam that is MCQs in optometry and contact lens. Stay with smart optometry and study optometry smartly.